I want to go back out to evening anchor Eric Wilson, who is performing at Starlight tonight. We got to see a little preview of that. Yeah, we're so excited, and we've got so much more. So, Eric, what's happening right now? Well, I thought it would, we'd get another chance to meet some of uh, my fellow cast members and show off some more of our cool set pieces. We talked about how interesting and how fun the doghouse was. Uh, our army of creative people and tech people made the famous Charlie Brown wall, where if you watch the comic strips, every once in a while you see the Peanuts gang on the wall just kind of philosophizing a little bit. I want to talk first with Charlie Brown, Andrew Harth. Andrew, you and I go, I want to say way back. This is the first time we've ever done a show together, but we're talking probably seven or eight years ago, you directed my daughter in a yeah, show as well. production of Grease, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So you do both. Um, and as a director, when you look at a show like Charlie Brown, and for someone who's never seen You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, they may be familiar with the comic strips. They may know, okay, when you see a show, this happens, this happens, this happens. But Charlie Brown's, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown's a little bit different, right? Yeah, way different, which for us was, was fun, I think. Uh, kind of a cool, neat aspect of the show. But really, it's like the comic strip comes to life. It's one of those things where it's sort of like a day in the life. It doesn't have a traditional plot that you might be used to when you come see traditional musical theater. But it's got something for everybody. It's little snippets of these kids' lives and sort of how they sort of play out. And I think for adults too, just like the comic strips, you really start to realize, like, well, they're really going through some stuff, you know. And it's kind of been fun for us to explore that. Essence, first of all, biggest smile of the whole cast right here. <laughs> uh, you are a recent graduate of Auburn's Kappa, but the exciting thing is that you are headed to college. Tell me about that. How excited are you for that? I'm scared. <laughs> Why scared? I, I okay. I I feel like with college, with musical theater school uh, specifically, I feel like students have like a expectation, especially with big schools like the University of Cincinnati, um, College and Conservatory of Music. It's like a really big <laughs> musical theater program. Um, we have like a expectation that's like, okay, if we're not perfect by the time we get there, we got stuff to work on. And I'm like, oh my God, I have like less than 30 days to get it together. So I'm scared. But I'm also really excited because I get to go to school with Delaney, who plays Lucy in our show. That's a fun coincidence, <laughs> right? You guys yeah. will be classmates at some point? Yes, which is very exciting. I already know the people that go to my school uh, that are in like the musical theater program, grades above and in my grade. So I really appreciate them. They're great. I'm really excited to just... Well, we all know how talented you are, and you're going to impress them tremendously in Cincinnati, and we're lucky to be in this show with you. Speaking of schools, we, this is a community theater, and right, most of us have day jobs. David Zimmerman's day job is as a teacher. Where do you teach, David? I teach at Belvedere North High School. I'm the English and theater teacher there. So do your students know about your theater talent? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is like honestly the first show I've done since I moved here, so it's, uh, they don't know. All right, know. North Kids, start a Snapchat group, get everybody together, and come see Mr. Zimmerman. Do they call you Mr. Zimmerman, yeah. David? Mr. Zimmerman. Come, <laughs> see, come see Mr. Zimmerman. Yeah. And speaking of teachers, really quickly, Ryan Hoffman, you are also a teacher, the Starlight veteran here on stage, right? Where do you teach? I teach out in, uh, I teach out in Dixon. I teach math at Dixon High School. And really quickly, I, said, I mentioned we go back all the way to Spamalot. Do you have a favorite show here at Starlight? Any seasons? Well, I think uh, Spamalot is one of them for sure. Uh, Les Mis is up there. Uh, I really think uh, just getting, you mentioned earlier that yesterday was our preview for Friends and Family and uh, it was, it's great because you kind of get the Starlight family together on those preview nights so I get to see people that I haven't seen. You know, we did a show like four or five years ago and they're coming up to me and, and, and saying and, and talking and we get to be able to converse again when we haven't talked in so long and it's just like uh, it's just like it was yesterday. So That's the best part of getting back together for this theater season. Uh, so again, so, uh, Starlight Theater tonight. Uh, your good man Charlie Brown opens at 8 o'clock. It's our opening night. We are so excited. Everybody excited? Yeah. Yay! Yeah. We hope to see you out here too. Elliot, Whitney, back to you. We appreciate so it, much. Eric, too, because we know you're going to be there late tonight. Of course, they're there this morning, yeah. and so it's going to be a long day for them. So we appreciate it. I want to get everybody the details there on your screen, too, if you plan to go tonight. Of course, at 8 o'clock, you can get those tickets, 815-921-2160. You know, obviously, it's been a rough year for anybody who works in any type of entertainment. So this is just a way to, of course, uh, support everybody who, you know, we all switched to Zoom and that type of thing. So just nice to see entertainment again here. <laughs>